welcome back friends today video uh, session we're going to study about um, comparison operator in java this are the comparison operator in the java equal to symbol not equal to symbol greater than and lesser than greater than or equal to and lesser than or equal to okay we're going to see one by one I think the first one is uh, most familiar one. We have used this operator uh, many programs. It's a equal to operator. Using this equal to operator, we can check what is the value exists in the particular variable. Okay. Let's say int a equal to 10. If a equal to equal to. So here I'm checking a is having value 10. If a is having value 10, this particular statement return true. Okay, if it is true, the, the, the control come to here, this particular statement will execute. Okay, using equal to operator, we can check that what is the value exists in the particular variable. This is the purpose of, this is the purpose of a equal to operator. Whatever uh, comparison operator we are using, using those comparison operator return either two values one is true or false okay let me compile this program java c comparison demo dot java oh sorry we need to say a okay lower case a So a equal to 10 is printing here, okay. Hmm. So um, all operator return either true or false. If this particular expression, this is the expression, this is called as an expression. This expression either return true or false. If it is written true, it will come to here. Otherwise, this code, piece of code never execute, okay. Um, now, boolean is exist a equal to equal to 10 here i am giving expression here here i am giving the expression a equal to equal to 10 what will happen here this using this equal to operator i am creating this expression this expression either return true or false okay it will check that if a matches with 10 value this entire expression return true the true value stored in is exist is exist if a value a variable does not have 10 value this expression fail right that is this expression return false that false value stored in is exist variable is exist boolean variable okay so our expression always written either true or false. If it is true, do something. If it is false, do something. The same thing I am doing here. Okay. Now I am going to print this. Is exist. Now expected output is this will return true. See here it's printing true because a is having a 10 value. You can use this, uh, this variable also here. If is exist, if is exist meaning if is exist contain true, come here print this statement. Otherwise, if written false, come here. Just to say invalid. So, in the previous example, this expression I used here itself. Generally, this is the best practice. Everyone use the expression inside if condition for understanding purpose. I am I am explaining in detail. Okay, this expression written either true or false. If so, either true or false stored in is exist. Okay, I am printing here. Now, in the if condition, I am checking that if is exist contains true come here print this value if is exist does not have a true value come here print this invalid let me compile this program so 
See, yeah, it is true. So it's got, it's coming here under printing. A yeah, value. Okay. Now I'm going to change a yeah, value. Now that will return false. So for false will print. False then invalid. I hope you understand. Purpose of equal to operator. All operators. Whatever operator you are seeing here, all operator return either true or false based on the condition. Okay. That uh, condition will be we are using inside a if statement. Okay. Next one is not equal to. Okay. I'll comment out this. I don't want to. I will save as a new file, okay? Comparison demo 2. Here I am checking. A not equal to 10. A does not have 10. Come here, print this statement. A is having 10, come here, print here. So, currently A is having 11, right? I am checking A does not have 10. Correct. A does not have a 10 value. It, has, it is having 11 only, right? So, it's come to this block, print 11. I think I will not. Oh, sorry. The class name is demo one, right? Demo one, demo two, demo two. We need to use demo two. Sorry, demo two. So a equal to eleven is printing. Why? Because I am checking. A does not have a ten. Print this statement. Definitely, a is having eleven. So it's printing here. It's the control is coming here and then printing this statement. Now I'm going to change the value to 10. Uh, again, you're checking here does not have a 10. Come and print here. Else block is nothing but a is, if a is having 10, come else block and print here. Compile and execute. So a is having 10. Why because why because a here I am checking a other than 10 come and print. If a is 10, come to else box. That is the meaning of this program. So it is it's, it's printing a is having a 10. Next one is greater than. If a is greater than 10, a is greater than 10, come and print the greatest value. Greatest value. If a is not a greater greater than ten, what will happen? Come to else block. I'm printing this. Okay. Now, in this expression, what I am doing here? If a greater than ten, I'm checking. Definitely a is a not a greater than 10 because a is having a 10 value, a is equal to 10. So condition is not match, not satisfied. So come to else block, this will print, a is not a greatest value. Okay, a is not a greatest value, under lesser than. If a is lesser than 10, a is lesser than 10, then come come here, print this statement. I am saying. What is the current value of a? Current value of a is 10, right? Huh? So the what a, a is having a 10, 10 is not a lesser than 10. 10 is a equal to 10. So condition is not satisfied here. Here I am checking a is lesser than 10. But currently a is having 10 value, 10 is not a lesser than 10, it's a equal, right? So condition is not satisfied. Come to else block, it will print here. 
serve and a compile. A is not a greatest value and 10 is 20. Now lesser than or equal to. Using lesser than or equal to, we can verify that particular value is equal to or lesser than. Equal to or lesser than. Two conditions we can verify. If, if either one satisfied, come to corresponding block and the corresponding code will get executed. Okay. According to our program here, I am checking a lesser than or equal to 10. What is the current value of a? a is 10, right? Huh? a is not a lesser than 10 because a is having a 10. But a is equal to 10. a is having a 10, so it is equal to this 10. Condition is satisfied and come to if block, this particular value will print. Match. Okay, let me compile the program. Match the 10. Next one is um, greater than. I'll going to see. I'll going to change the value here, 11. So a is lesser than or equal to 10. What is the current value of a? Current value of a is 11, right? 11 is not a lesser than 10. 11 is not a equal to 10. So both the conditions not satisfied. So never. So uh, this block never get executed. To come to else block. This block get executed. Let me compile. So this else block. Okay, this else block get executed. Now I'm going to say greater than. Using greater than symbol, we can check particular value greatest or not. Okay. A greater than 10. What is the value of current? What is the value of variable A? 11, right? 11 is greater than 10. Definitely 11 is greater than 10. Yes, condition is satisfied. It come to this block and it get executed. This, this particular statement get executed. Let me compile. See, match 11. The, the if block get executed. Now I'm going to see greater than or equal to. So according to this expression, I can check either given value greater than comparing value or equal to comparing value. What is the value of a here? Equal to, right? Uh, so 11, right? 11 equal to 10? No. 11 is not equal to 10. 11 is greater than 10? Yes, 11 is greater than 10. Definitely, this condition satisfies. One condition is satisfied. Come to this if block and print this statement. Let me compile. So match the 11. I am changing value to 25, comparing value. What is the current value of A? 11. 11 is greater than 25? No. 11 is equal to 25? No. Both the condition not satisfied. It's never come to this block. Instead, to come to else block, this particular statement get print. Let me compile and execute. This is else block. That's it, guys, for uh, comparison operator. Okay. In the next video session, we're going to see logical operator. How to use this logical operator? Okay. Until then, bye bye from Suresh. Thanks for watching this full video. If you like this video, please share it to your friend circle. Click bell icon for regular updates. Still, you are not subscribed this channel. Please subscribe it. Thanks again.